You know what that is, don't you? That's the mighty Trojan Dome. <laughs> Home of the former James A. K. Wood High School, now elementary school. K. Wood High School closed in 2009, I believe. The last, according to the website, we found gradu graduating class was 2008, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. They had a lot of great basketball games, games. under that dome. Well, not, they didn't have the football yeah, under the dome. Yeah, they had that out in the, the field football field right. over there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the field. had concerts. Sawyer Brown in the 90s came there. Mm -hmm. I believe Jerry Clare mm -hmm. uh, come for the Pokes Out Festival. And was, was, that, was that the place he was at? Uh, he was in Harlan. But, uh, yeah, he's been somewhere. Been but at any, at any rate, a lot of great classic wrestling out there. Oh, from yeah. Southeast Championship Wrestling, Continental Championship Wrestling. Ron Fuller, Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, known as Bunkhouse Buck in WCW in the 90s. So many famous wrestlers have wrestled under that legendary Trojan Dome. Let's take a walk and talk about it. Before we do anything else in this video, we've got to say this. We are at Sonic's in beautiful Middlesboro, Kentucky. And we have to say... Thank you, Daniel Armstrong, for dinner. It is much appreciated. Thank you, Daniel. God bless you. Thank you so much, Daniel. Love me a footlong county with extra onions. Cheese, extra onions, and mustard. Of course, you don't like the onions, do you? I like a little onion and the cheese. It's good. Really good. Thank you. I enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Thank you so much. Now... Back to the video. James A. K. Wood High School was uh, consolidated with Everett's and Cumberland High Schools to become the Harlan County High School, which is now located on 119 towards Putney. But we're talking about the memories of the Trojan Dome. Do you guys remember any concerts there? Do you remember any big basketball games you attended there when you went to school there? I didn't go to school there. You didn't, did you? No. But uh, if you went there, I, 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 seen the, I seen a lot of classic wrestling there. I was a big wrestling fan. And I'm talking about uh, late 70s wrestling, Southeast Championship wrestling. I'm talking about way back to the old school. Like I said, Ron Fuller, Robert Fuller, uh, which, you know, their name was actually Welch. They had, uh, their father uh, was a promoter that worked the jury jury for a long time, which I'm getting into stuff nobody but really... Old big old old school wrestling fans <laughs> know so i'll get back out of it but anyway and uh i guess one of the most uh ronnie garvin wrestled there professor tanaka who you will see him in many tv shows like hawaii 5 and uh, uh a bunch of detective shows like morning jones and stuff he acted for a long time he was in that very building under the dome mm -hmm. and the uh, can you thank anybody? Anything other than that? Uh, I remember my dad took me. I went there with him. Yeah, took you to wrestling? Uh, I remember that, what'd you call him, that Fuller guy? Uh, uh, you probably. Robert Fuller, the, the, the younger brother, was uh, the one the girls was usually interested in, so well, that's probably the one. I was just a little girl. I remember that. Was, dad would take us. Yeah, I remember some of them. I was just so young. I can't remember the names. <laughs> I remember... Uh, uh, Seen, seen a couple of football games, although I didn't go there. The last class was 2008. 2008. Uh, yeah. According to the website, according to the website, if our information is wrong, let us know. Whatever you remember, especially uh, about the school, too. If you went to school here, if you done anything like that, uh, anything at all, just uh, post it in the comments. We love them. So, yeah, if you... Uh, like I said, went to school. If you remember anything special about this, because the Trojan Dome is still here. It's still a school. It's a Kwood Elementary School, right? Yeah. Yeah. The Board of Education is there. It's a building with a white car in front of it. And the, uh, it used to be called a vocational school. Uh, it's called the Technical College now, I think, isn't it, huh? Yeah. It's over here in that direction, behind where the buses are parked. 
And I, over here's the old football field. Let's go take a look at that. And this is the old football field. A lot of memories over there. And there's another view of the Trojan Dome. Do you have any memories under the dome? <laughs> under the Trojan Dome. Yeah, there's a cold wind blowing. There's a chill wind blowing. Yeah, last time I was in the uh, gym part of it, it was seeing uh, the crowds gospel singing. I seen that. Uh, probably the last thing I saw. Yeah, yeah, they, they they was real big in Southern Gospel music for a long time. Under the Dome. Everybody from country singers. That sounds like to me you saw a lot of wrestling there. Uh, well, you know, like I said earlier in the video, uh, the, the uh, uh, old school wrestling from late 70s, and I guess into the 80s. Anyway, uh, what I'm saying is everybody that you can think of. Uh, evangelists, gospel singers, country singers, uh, every kind uh, of event you can think of has been helped there at one time or another. I got a lot of memories there with my mom and dad going to the gospel singing with them. Yep. The home of the Trojans and Trojanettes. Can't forget them. No. You got memories, like I've said, share them with us. School's an important time, especially high school, for a lot of folks. And like I said, you know, this video is mainly simply about the Kwood High School gym, the Trojan Dome. Like <laughs> but you know, that, yeah, memory, like yeah. <laughs> memories of the school, you know, uh, share those because uh, it's it's elementary school now, but high schools now. There's only two high schools in Harlan uh, now. Is uh, the independent school in Harlan, the Green Dragons, and the Harlan county which this school consolidated with Everett's and Kwood to become Everett. this school consolidated with Everett's and Cumberland I'll get it right don't worry about it this was Kwood and if you was a 20 yeah. Uh, yeah. What was it 2008 yeah. that is 2008 one of the last of the graduations yep yeah. Yeah. yeah that if was you're one that, of those yeah. graduates oh yes tell us about it know. tell what that last year was like the uh, numbers on the school i think in 1988 according to the one website we found i like to verify my information with two sources but in this case i uh, uh, went with the one website i found telling about it but i like to find two sources i don't like to give you know just in hearsay information information that i think i like for it to be accurate but anyway, according to the website I found in 1988, it had uh, well over a thousand students, mm -hmm. and the last class uh, 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 of uh, uh, I guess uh, yeah, graduating class in 2008 was at less than 700, I believe. Yes. So so it had went down in size. But uh, anyway, that was the Kwood Trojans. Cumberland was the Cumberland Indians, and Everett's was the Wildcats. I yes. do believe. Yes. There, yeah, and now they're all black bears. Yep. Up on 119 at Putney. They're all black bears. If you went to school there, let us know. Yep. Yep. Share your memories with us. We'd love to hear them. A lot of folks was worried if those Cumberland kids and Everett's kids and Kaywood High School kids would get along when <laughs> they throw them all in the same <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> they had no choice. Yeah, that worked out too. That yeah. that worked out. They they got along so good. They like I said, they have a, a had a mighty fine athletic program up there. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that, there was a lot of. Uh, I didn't live in Harlan when they was doing that, but I kept up with Harlan. My brother, whenever I'd come by to visit, would supply me with a month or a couple of months of the old Harlan Enterprise, which at the time was uh, still like three or four times a week. It came out. 
instead of once a week. But anyway, folks, thanks for remembering the Trojan Dome with us. I gotta say it one more time. You just love saying <laughs> the Kwood High School gym and the Kwood High School. Thank you so much for running with us and listening to us. Lord help them. Yeah. <laughs> have mercy on them but anyway we, we love you folks and we appreciate you what to do we say on this beautiful but cold evening bye bye stay warm <laughs>